In the first of this two-part series of Cisco Tech Talk, I'll go over general questions that relate to discovery and configuration for Cisco Business Dashboard, CBD. What is Cisco Business Dashboard, or CBD? Cisco Business Dashboard Network Management is software that allows you to easily manage your whole network, including your Cisco devices, through your web browser. It automatically discovers, monitors, and configures all supported Cisco devices in your network. This software also sends you notifications about firmware updates and information about the devices in your network that are no longer supported by warranty. What are the supported languages for the Cisco Business Dashboard? Chinese, English, French, German, Japanese, and Spanish. How does Cisco Business Dashboard discover my network? The Cisco Business Dashboard Probe builds an initial list of devices in the network from listening to CDP, LLDP, and MDNS advertisements. The probe then connects to each device using a supported protocol and gathers additional information such as CDP and LLDP adjacency tables, media access control, MAC address tables, and associated device lists. This information is used to identify additional devices in the network, and the process repeats until all the devices have been discovered. Does Cisco Business Dashboard do network scans? Cisco Business Dashboard does not actively scan the broader network. The probe will use the ARP protocol to scan the IP subnet it is directly attached to, but will not attempt to scan any other address ranges. The probe will also test each discovered device for the presence of a web server and SNMP server on the standard ports. What happens when a new device is discovered? Will its configuration be changed? New devices will be added to the default device group. If configuration profiles have been assigned to the default device group, then that configuration will also be applied to newly discovered devices. What happens when I move a device from one device group to another? Any virtual local area network, VLAN, or wireless local area network, WLAN, configuration associated with profiles that are currently applied to the original device group and are not applied to the new device group will be removed. And VLAN or WLAN configuration associated with profiles that are applied to the new group are not applied to the original group will be added to the device. System configuration settings will be overwritten by profiles applied to the new group. If no system configuration profiles are defined for the new group, then the system configuration for the device will not change. That'll do it for part one. If I didn't get your question answered in this round, please check out part two. You can find the link in the description. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.